Well, welcome, ladies and gents, to another episode of Planet Zoo and our Highland Zoo series. Um, my friends, if you've missed last episode, I will link it above right now. Feel free to go and click that and give it a watch. Um, it was a big, big episode, that one where we did a lot of work where the backstage area uh, was concerned. So uh, do feel free to go check that one out before you do today. But today is a very exciting day because we finally, finally, finally get to grips and get going with a habitat in the zoo and uh, this is a big big build um this is going to be sort of 40 odd minutes of time lapse footage i think that shows you how big a build this was and i've cut quite a lot of stuff as well uh, the build time in total was about six hours and i think a lot of that um isn't just because uh, I'm not the quickest, but I had to, you know, I was building for about four hours and then I decided to give it a break because my creative juices were going, I was feeling tired, I went to bed, slept on it and then come back to it. The trouble was, I was completely out of the groove the next day when I come back to the build and I just, I couldn't get into it just uh, quite as much as I had done the day before. But yeah, sort of six, six and a half hours worth of build time just to achieve this habitat. But when we get to the live section at the end, you're going to see it is well well worth it ladies and gents um i don't do any sort of like lovely you know camera angles or anything uh, in today's episode of it because we were really really pushing it with the time um but I am going to do uh, showcases of every single animal that gets put in our zoo. Um, I'm going to do five, six minute videos where we take a good look at them um, in their habitat and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take a good look at the way the guests interact with the habitats and stuff in those showcases. And uh, hopefully, um, should I be able to get to work on all the bits that I didn't finish, uh, that will be coming to you probably in the next day or two. So I really do hope you're looking forward to that. But let's talk about the build, ladies and gents. Uh, the first animal, as the title says it does give it away is the gorilla um uh, this was a real real interesting one for me um uh, they're a big favorite of mine when i go to the zoo and uh i, I definitely wanted to get them in my zoo the big the good thing about um you know the gorilla is that it's uh, i think it's a real great uh you know animal to start with i think it's a great enclosure to start with uh, and it's gonna pull a lot of people in and because we're concentrating on conservation um it's a good one for us to start with as well because obviously they are an endangered species now they are on the watch list and a lot of work is being done uh, to make sure that these beautiful uh, majestic animals uh, remain uh, with us um, there's only about believed to be 250 odd thousand of them uh, left in the wild so uh, a lot has got to be done uh, where zoos are concerned where conservation is concerned to make sure uh, that these animals uh, you know do survive and uh, are with us for as long as possible um one of the big things that's killing them off in the world is deforestation um you know there the, the forests uh, where the majority of these animals live are being uh, chopped down at an alarming rate and the other one that was quite surprising to me after doing a little research was that of disease and a lot of this is because um they are so closely related to us that they can pick up disease uh, from humans and obviously where we are encroaching on where they live now we are you know spending more and more time uh, in close proximity proximity uh, and because obviously they spread spread disease uh, you know like the common cold uh, very similar to people that if one uh, gorilla was to leave uh, you know one group and leave uh, to go to try and find another one because that does happen especially with juvenile males um, they can end up spreading disease and then that disease can end up killing off uh, more than one group of uh, gorillas depending on the severity of it so it is a real concern and uh, you know it is something that you know a lot of people are working hard at doing and trying to keep these beautiful animals alive in the wild but um, it's very very difficult um, now they um, are found in Africa western side of uh, you know Africa um, the Congo is you know where the majority of the gorillas are found um, a big thing that I would love to do uh, one day is go um, to the Congo and uh, do the three four hour trek up the mountain to see these beautiful majestic animals in the wild they are one of my favorite I've got a real thing about all of the you know the great apes because of the because of the similarities between us and them and our DNA being shared, obviously the orangutan uh, shares sort of 95% of its DNA uh, with us. It's the most closely related, uh, you know, animal on the planet. Um, so, you know, the gorillas are no different. They're very close to us as well. And I thought that it really, would be a really intriguing animal to start off with in our park. And we're going to do our part 
where the conservation is concerned to try and spread that awareness and all that good stuff um so now i'll give you a little bit of information on the gorilla and the animal that we're going with now let me give you a little bit of information on the enclosure and the habitat so as you can see at the moment um, a lot of work is being done on a huge building and uh, when this time lapse is finished and you see this in all of its glory it is a monster of a building but i had this idea where the gorilla enclosure was concerned for it to be an experience so there's going to be a wide in path that you'll see later on in the time lapse that the people will be able to walk up to they'll be able to see the gorillas on their right hand side uh, over some of the rocks through some clearings but until they get to the building they will never see them properly they then get to this opening section of the building where there's some glass for them to you know stand there and admire you know these wonderful beasts if they wish or they can continue to walk up and then they'll be able to come round and they'll be able to see the dwelling where the gorillas you know sleep and spend their time inside so basically it's a huge big expanse uh, uh, where the gorillas can come inside uh, there's going to be you know climbing platforms on the outside but there's also a big one on the inside as well and there's also going to be a connective passageway which I'll touch upon more in the live episode. Uh, I didn't quite get that finished, so I don't want to say too much about it now, uh, but I work very hard on this sort of passageway that goes from their current exhibit to a smaller holding. And uh, yeah, like I say, in the live section, I will supply you with more information. Now this building and this part of the zoo is going to serve more than one purpose. Uh, we're going to have this big building here that's going to serve the gorillas and uh, I'm sure they're going to absolutely love it. Um, but then to the um, right hand side of this building we're going to then build a smaller one that goes next to it and that's going to house the mandrills. Um, they are another, uh, you know... Uh, a monkey that uh, an ape that is from that part of the world and uh, because of their close proximity and because they're from the same part of the world i thought that it would make for a great um use of space to put them both in a similar area they can't coexist in the same exhibit but they can be close enough together that we can have one building that serves the purpose of the two animals and you're going to see i make a lot of interactive stuff so that this is this becomes a huge experience uh, so the people would be able to walk up you know they they take it all in then they come inside the building and they can get a real good look at the gorillas and then they can walk up view the gorillas a bit more and then they can either follow it around and exit or they'll be able to go straight on and they'll be able to view the mandrels which which is uh, a, a, an animal that we'll probably do in uh, maybe an episode or two's time. I'm going to touch upon what we're going to do next episode at the end. But yeah, it took a long, long time uh, did this episode. It was exhausting. And it, you know, like I say, it took me two evenings because I don't have the most time um, all the time. But um, I was lucky enough that I had an evening to myself and I, I got it all finished off. Um, there's still work to be done. You're going to see that in the live section. No work needs to be done on the habitat or the main building of the habitat but um, there is some work to be done on the outskirts where the guests are going to walk and I need to do the service buildings I put in the basic structures for the service buildings uh, behind this one um, but they all need decorating and theming and all that good work needs to be done as well we need to make sure that they don't encroach on the guests paths either because uh, I don't know if anybody knows this at Place Planet Zoo but the staff facilities have a negative effect on the guests so you have to make sure that they're close enough that they're able to work for you in the best way to make sure that you're efficient but they need to be far enough away that they don't give the guests uh, the, uh, um, the, the, um, the, the ump basically I couldn't get my words out there but um yeah so i've had to really concentrate hard so those little bits of wall pieces you see going in a minute ago there for the mandrels we're already putting the little pieces in place ready for the next animal um i i, I was I'm in an R in whether or not I should do this because obviously it does mean that we're doing sort of two animals that are very sort of closely related and very, very similar uh, for the first two that we're putting in the zoo. But I think once it's finished, it will look fantastic. And there's nothing to say, though, that we have to do the mandrels next. I've just put the pieces of the jigsaw in place so we can get it ready uh, to crack on with it as and when we want to um, you know we can always go and do another animal if other people would like to see that so obviously we've done the gorillas for our first one uh, i did ask for your suggestions uh, someone said to me a koala in the comment section and you know what i was thinking to myself 
what a fantastic animal that would be inside um you know a zoo in planet zoo um but it's not to be unfortunately because they're not in the game but hopefully 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 we will get some dlc uh for that uh ladies and gents so we can enjoy sort of animals of australia in all their glory because i know there's not too much you know in the game but back to the build, ladies and gents, and uh, you're now going to see me putting together the passageway that joins uh, the main exhibit to the smaller one that I was speaking about earlier. Uh, so do enjoy this little thing. I, I am hoping that at a later date, the gorillas will use this. Uh, I've given them no reason to want to use it yet. So it's one of those things. Um, it's just there kind of for looks, I guess, at the moment. But uh, we can make the most of uh, watching me build it, at least, anyway. So I guess uh, we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of time to take up today. Um, so I kind of want to put a few things out there. I want to ask you guys, are you enjoying the series to this point? What have you made of what I've managed to achieve so far? Uh, obviously, in the opening three episodes, we've done the entrance, the car park, little security depot, backstage area, ticket booths. We've done all of the opening stuff. Uh, for the zoo uh, it's coming along quite nicely i think it's really nice for us to really dig our teeth in get into a habitat now and introduce an animal to the zoo um, i have closed the zoo for now because i don't have any um, guest facilities we're going to talk about that more in the live section because that's basically next episode but we don't have any guest facilities so i haven't opened the zoo yet uh, once those guest facilities are in though then we will open the zoo and then we'll see uh, the amount of people that come flock into this zoo to come and see uh, the gorillas now i have obviously mentioned uh the next animal uh i was talking about that moments ago uh where the, someone had mentioned a koala and obviously they're not in the game as i mentioned but um of the animals that are in the game ladies and gents which one would you like to see next i know i mentioned the mandrill as well because that's going to be part of this sort of experience um but what animal would you like to see next? Um, you know, it won't be, it doesn't necessarily have to be next door to the gorillas. It can be, you know, in another area of the zoo and then we can fill the gaps as we go along. Uh, but do let me know what you'd like to see. Um, you know, I had a few suggestions so far. Obviously the koala was one. That's not in Planet Zoo yet. Hoping for that DLC though. I got quite excited at the thought of having the koalas, especially with the bushfires and stuff that are going on in Australia at the moment. The animals are really suffering as a result. Um, so that'd be great to have them in the zoo. Um, but all also, uh, a herd of elephants was mentioned. Now, uh, I am going to throw this out there now. The elephants are probably going to be held off for a little while because they're probably going to be the centerpiece of the zoo. Uh, for those that see last episode, we made the sign of the zoo and elephants are on that and Asian elephants in particular. And I obviously made a uh, logo for the zoo as well. Uh, that's got African elephants on. Uh, so elephants are going to be a big part of the zoo, but the Asian elephants especially are going to be the centerpiece. So I'm going to hold off on the elephants and we're going to have them right in the middle uh, and we're going to do something really, really special for them. But the other thing that was mentioned was a pride of lions. So would you guys like to see me tackle the lions next? I've got big, big big plans for the lions i want to make an interactive restaurant that sits on the with basically almost within the enclosure so you'll be able to sit there eat your dinner and look at the lions and it's going to be almost like a, a an african type market shop where you're going to be able to go in multiple purposes sit down and uh, enjoy the animals as well as uh, viewing platforms on the outside and i'm going to do a big backstage area for the lions as well I've got big plans for them so is that something you'd like to see uh, but if Neither of those are something you'd like to see, uh, but you've got another animal in mind. That's what the comment section was built for, ladies and gents. And all you need to do is get in the comment section below the animal that you would like to see the most. And I will then try to make it happen. Um, I am going to shut up now, I think. I'm going to let you enjoy uh, the majority of this uh, time lapse. We do take a sort of two minute break. Um, halfway through the time lapse I introduce you to the next section and what's going to happen um, so if the music stops abruptly uh, you don't know what's going on basically I show you the floor plans of how we achieved the habitat because of the amount of footage that I had to cut but my friends until I see you in the live section enjoy the rest of today's episode and the rest of today's time lapse Thank you. 
So my friends, a quick pause in the time lapse. I just wanted to show you it like this, rather than show you the whole transformation of the area surrounding uh, the habitat enclosure and the walkthrough uh, for the guests. Uh, basically, the, a lot of the terraforming um, took me some time because I'm not that great at it. Um, it's a very sensitive tool, and I really do need to just practice a bit more on how this uh, is going to work. So I've decided to cut that from today's episode. But basically, I've done this plan so that you can see exactly what we've tried to achieve now the sand is where the path is going to uh, run on either side uh, of the in uh, habitat and then the dirt path is where the water is going to go uh, so the green in the, the middle is essentially sort of like the two islands where the gorillas are going to live so you can kind of now see the uh, lines and the edges of the enclosure and how it's mapped out also you're going to see that little platform to the side uh, we'll talk more about that at the end in the live section but back to the time lapse and so now ladies and gents we press on with the main habitat and uh yeah this is going to be real real interesting for you guys to sit and watch because this is completely different from what you've seen me do to this point to this point you've just seen me put buildings together and i think i'm quite confident with um you know, the building tools, all the pieces, how to make the most of them. And I have always got good ideas as well where buildings are concerned. Where habitats, habitats are concerned though, completely different story. I do find it a lot more difficult uh, to come up with ideas. But essentially, I wanted to try and achieve this, uh, I wanted to try and achieve this thing where the habitat was concerned, that everything that we build had a multi-purpose. Obviously, gorillas like to have a lot of stuff that they can interact with, that they can climb, that they can swing from. Uh, they like like to have a lot of enrichment in there as well uh, so what I wanted to try and do is to make some hard shelters but make those platforms that then end up going on to some of that climbing apparatus so then everything has sort of like a multiple purpose but we use a lot of uh, you know stone and brickwork to try and make it look as natural as possible as well because the one thing I, I really want to try and avoid is for things to look way too fake obviously in zoos they just build things from you know uh, wood and, and fake rock and concrete and things like that but you still want there to be this natural look uh, to the habitat um, we don't go too over the top where foliage is concerned um, there's more rock than there is foliage uh, we use uh, just enough though uh, to, to, to meet the needs of the animal and that's all you need to do at the end of the day um, but we just sink a lot of trees there wasn't a lot sort of from that tropical African biome for us to throw in here um, but we managed to achieve the best uh, that we could anyway uh, one of the other things I do just want to touch upon is that there's a lot of stuff in this section that i had to cut out um a lot of the stonework that we do around the edge that would be the side of the guests i haven't put in uh, the time lapse um it was really really time consuming section uh, just going all the way around the edge putting different rocks and making it look as natural as possible and uh, yeah if i'd have kept that in here we'd have been here all day and uh, as well as doing the habitat we had to finish off the building as well towards the end i hadn't put the roof on and stuff so that's been included and you'll be able to watch that in all its glory you'll be able to also see me putting together all of the pieces and the climbing apparatus inside of the um, shelter and the enclosure um, the indoor part of the enclosure uh, that we built at the beginning of the time lapse um, it's really exciting when you get to this stage I will say that because you know that once this is finished you're not far from you know not far away from being able to grab those gorillas place them in the habitat and keep your fingers crossed that all goes well um, I did have a problem you don't see it in the time lapse but I did have a problem initially when I first put the gorillas in uh, that they were able to escape over on the left hand side of the enclosure if you were looking at it from the front um, the gap between uh, the land and the rocks uh, where the river was concerned just wasn't wide enough and uh, I was trying to work out how you see um, how you get that option up and you actually have to, to physically click on the animal then go to traversable area and it shows you all of the uh, all the bits where you've gone wrong and basically the gap was just slightly too big and they were able to jump across it but every time it happened I missed it uh, so I was getting really really confused really really frustrated but I ended up going back in and uh, sorting that out so we achieved one cave and it had the climbing apparatus on it and then I achieved another cave by just having this small divot in the ground and then using some rock work and we put a little uh, a little little sleeping area in under here but we put another climbing platform so everything has a dual purpose everything's really really interactive and it keeps the animals uh, you know second guessing uh, what to do next um, 
when you see this in the live section, I don't know if you're going to all think that maybe the enclosure is a little bit too big, if it, maybe it's a little bit overkill, but what I've done is, obviously, we initially put four uh, animals into this enclosure, uh, three females and one male. Uh, there's usually an alpha male, known as the silverback, where the grill is concerned, um, and we initially put them in there, and obviously, I've made it slightly bigger so that in case we have breeding, in case there's any babies, uh, there's some space uh, for those animals to be here so that the, the group of gorillas can get bigger and bigger as time goes on, and with that natural cycle uh, in the zoo uh, can continue, so to speak. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do that's what i wanted to achieve and that's why the enclosure maybe is a little bit overkill but you've always got to be, think about um you've always got to think about things getting bigger the expansion of the zoo and uh, the expansion of not just the zoo but the population of the animals in it as well uh so yeah i think what i'm going to do ladies and gents i just wanted to do a little bit of quick chit chat there to let you know uh what was going on uh, and what you're going to be watching now most of it's the habitat enjoy the bit at the end though where we finish off the building and i will see you real real soon for that live section uh, where we talk all things next episode and you get a real first proper glimpse at the gorillas in their new, new world.
And so ladies and gents, we're finally at the live section of today's episode. Um, 40 odd minutes of time lapse. I can only apologise. I said last episode I was going to try and keep it short. Uh, it's nigh on impossible. I just, I don't understand it. And I cut a lot out as well. There was stuff that I didn't include in the time lapse because it's sort of stuff you've seen before and I just, I didn't think it was necessary. So I, I apologize, but it was like six, six and a half hours worth of build time for the whole thing. And uh, yeah, I just had to cut a lot of it out. But this is what we built. This is what we've managed to achieve. And I think we can all agree in saying that it looks unbloody believable, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to take a good look at it in a moment. Um, but I do just want to say I am going to be doing showcases of it each habitat so it's going to be like five minute videos of you know nice screenshots and nice camera uh, your sweeps and just watching the animals and stuff like that um and i just think it'll be the best way to showcase each animal um 
because of how long my builds are taking. Um, we're go going to touch on what we're going to do next episode, and I'm going to touch on what the stuff I'm going to finish between then and now as well. So uh, let's just take a, a quick look, shall we, uh, at the animals. I, I do just want to say one thing. I've clearly got a very fertile male who's enjoying himself with the females a lot. Um, when I put the gorillas in, it was just one male and three um, females, and I, now he's got two babies already. So yeah, we're, we're already growing at an alarm him right and I'm, I might have to give him the snip yes I said it because it's just it's too much okay but uh, yeah this is the enclosure I think we can all agree in saying that it looks really really good I've achieved exactly what I wanted to the big sort of uh, water area moat around the edge um, the gorillas won't go in the water so you can almost use that as your barrier um, to your enclosure and then we've got a little island here in the main uh, the main expanse over here. And I just think it looks really, really good. Um, this is the way that the guests would come in. They would go up and sweep around um, on the path. And then you would come in here. You'd walk up all the way up here. This is a nice bit of, uh, you know sort of research for you here keep going this here uh, they are going to be able to walk over and into another area but i haven't um i haven't dealt with that yet i haven't um done all the things that need to be doing so they probably won't use that just yet and then you come all the way up here and then when you get to the end this is where you'll be able to see the gorillas in all their glory uh, ladies and gents nice piece of uh, information board there and uh, yeah you'll be able to see them in inside oh what on earth is going on here Let's unbox all these animals. I don't know why they've been boxed up because none of them can escape. Um, I've made sure of that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, and this is where they go to sleep basically, uh, and that is uh, their way up. So they go up there, they climb up here, and go all the way up, and then they can go through into that other area. So this is where you would come in and see the animals, and then you go on out, and then you walk across the bridge where you can take one last look at the gorillas and then you're done and dusted and uh, yeah it really is uh, a fantastic little area and look he's had an, they've had another baby jesus christ slow down we don't have to space for all these gorillas jesus christ he's a horny beggar uh, if we look at it from bird's eye view you can see that i've done some star facilities back here and this is that second area where the uh, gorillas can go essentially uh, a lot of zoos have this area where when the uh, when they need antibiotics when they need to be put to sleep to be taken to the vets and things like that uh, they take them into a smaller holding area to be able to do that and then take them away so it's another backstage area and it's already been put in place for the next enclosure uh, and habitat that's going to be put here and it's going to be the mandrills they're from a very similar part of the world to the gorillas and i just thought that the two would go hand in hand quite nicely we're going to do a smaller building probably here uh, that would house them uh, the roof won't be as extravagant and then uh, their sort of area will be from here probably probably there basically it doesn't need to be half as big as the gorillas and that's what that little thing was inside by the way this bit that you see me building uh, that's so the mandrels can go up and around should they wish and so you'll be able to see them inside the gorilla enclosure so it's all really really interactive um inside um what do we uh what do we think about next episode well basically between then and now uh, it's probably between now and then i should say uh, i'm going to be doing all of the foliage on the outside uh, it all needs finishing off basically uh, i want to raise some of these rocks up uh in certain places so that you can only see a peak of the animals in certain places uh, i need to finish the bridge i need to get all of the foliage around the edge and i need to do all of the fences uh, as far as us for next episode though is concerned we we're going to be concentrating on something I'm calling the Gorilla uh, Cafe. Uh, so basically, we're going to build a restaurant here, and this is going to be the platform outside where you can sit down. But also, the great thing about this platform is, if you look careful enough, you'll be able to see the gorillas, ladies and gents, all running around enjoying themselves. And I just think it would make for a real great place to put a restaurant. So I think we'll build a restaurant here, uh, a bar from next to it, and then potentially a gift shop uh, in here. And then we can uh, decorate all this and make it look all amazing and uh yeah that's what we're going
we're going to do next episode. But I really do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Like I say, there's going to be a showcase coming your way once I've done all the foliage so you can enjoy the gorillas uh, in their entirety rather than just this little sneak peek today. But we will go in uh, close as we sign off today's episode so you can enjoy all of the animals uh, and especially the little bubbers. But my friends, we are done and dusted for today's episode. Please hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed it. Apologies for it being such a long one once again. Drop a like on the video as well if you've enjoyed it and hit that bell notification so you never miss an episode. But my friends, until next time, make sure you're always staying extra and I'll see you real, real soon.